What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. We're going to go ahead and do another quick tutorial on how to install a PSP emulator on iOS 13. Now, you will need a computer for this. That's a pretty major thing. I tried to do it without a computer by airdropping the ROM and putting it through the files app because that is new through iOS 13. Not the files app, but actually importing and creating new folders. So I thought I could do something like that, but I couldn't. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. Now the first thing you will need is Tweetbox. If you don't already have this, click the first link down in the description, watch that video on how to install it. It's super easy, it'll take like 20 seconds, but watch that video, then come back to this once you have Tweetbox installed. So once you have it installed, what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and open it, and that will usually pop up, and sometimes it will take up the whole page. You just have to exit the app and then come back into it. But once you're here, all you wanna do is go ahead and click apps right there. You want to scroll into Tweetbox apps, and then what you wanna do is you wanna scroll all the way down until you see PPSSPP. It's kind of a funny name, I understand, but it is the main PSP emulator that's out right now. We're going to go ahead and click that, and then we're going to go ahead and click install, and then install once more. Usually that's all it takes. Sometimes there's another pop-up, but usually there's not. And as you can see all the way over here, we already have it installed. So what you wanna do once you actually have that installed onto your device, you want to go into settings, you want to scroll all the way down to general, then you wanna scroll all the way down again to profiles and device management. And once you're here, you want to click on the newest one you have. You'll probably only have one or two, depending on if you have Tweakbox or not. And what you wanna do here is just click trust, and then trust again, and it'll go ahead and trust that. So you can now actually go open up PPSSPP and it'll actually work, it'll actually run. Now they still need to make it compatible for the iPhone 10 series. You can see there's still a lot of cutoff, but right now this is the part where you will need a computer. You will need to find some way to import it into through iTunes, or you, if you're on macOS Catalina, you can do it through files through the Finder app. So let's go ahead and come into the computer and I'll show you how to do it from there. Now, as you can see, I'm on my MacBook. I have my iPhone plugged into here. You don't have to have PPSSPP if you don't want to, up. it doesn't really matter. The main thing you want to do is you want to navigate into iTunes if if you're on macOS Catalina, you have to go through the Finders app, then go through Files. I keep saying Finders, but it's just Finder. And then once you're in iTunes, you want to navigate to the obviously your phone panel. Then you want to click File Sharing. And then once you get there, you will see you have a couple different options, but you do have PPSSPP right there. Now, this is where you're going to go ahead and drag your ROM into this area. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to show you how to download the ROM or whatever. Make sure you get it legally. This video is 100% educational purposes only. I'm not telling you to do anything. <laughs> if you break your device, it's on you, but it's not going to happen at all probably. But the main thing you want to do is just find your ISO file. Now, there's been cases where I've seen and like tons and tons of folders extracted once you download a PSP ISO or download a PSP ROM. But in this case, I am doing an ISO, so I only have this one folder right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and drag my ISO file that you can get however you want to. Like I said, get it legally, make sure you own the game, all that good stuff. And it will take a minute for it to go ahead and get into the PPSSPP folder. And then once there, I mean, it's pretty much straightforward. You will see that it'll go ahead and pop up onto your iPhone in like a matter of seconds. And as you can see, I actually put it in the wrong one, but if I hop up one, you will be able to see that it will be here somewhere. As, as you can see, I messed up a little bit, but you can always put it in the PSP folder as well. It just depends. And if you go ahead and open it, sometimes it'll open, as you can see, it crashed on me. One thing that I've seen, I'll go ahead and actually show you this right now. So if that crashes on you, all you want to do is you want to go into settings, you want to scroll to tools, and then developer tools, which is right there. Then you want to click the CPU core, it'll most probably be on dynamic JIT. What you want to do is you want to change that into IR interpreter. That's a very, very important. You should only do this if the emulator actually crashes. Other than that, you should be set. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'll go ahead and go through and play the game, which is super awesome. Graphics are super great. Obviously, if you play on like a 10s Max, the graphics and the gameplay will just be that much better. But even for an iPhone 10, which is still a very, very tremendous phone, I'm not even saying this is like a cheap phone or bad phone at all. It plays very, very well. Loco Roco is a very, you know, basic game. This game changed my life. It's one of the greatest games I've ever played. And I'm curious to see with iOS 13 if you can actually put in a, you know, an external control and be able to play with it. That is something I will test later. But that is pretty much it, guys. Super basic tutorial. Nothing too crazy. If you have iTunes and an iPhone that supports this, then you'll be good. If you have any questions or you run into any problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That don't mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.